start in-person worship on July 5th. And I know that some of us are pretty excited about that. We're doing this because we are following our vision, loving God, sharing relationships, serving others from the heart of Christ. So we've been seeking to love God and worship by worshiping online, but we know that, that for a lot of us, being together with people actually in person uh, is, is, is a, it's just a different kind of worship experience. So we wanna start opening that up again. But we're gonna do that in a way that keeps following our vision, sharing relationships, and serving others. So our love for others means that we're gonna change some things for how worship happens in order to protect one another and to protect our community. So we're gonna walk in to the pavilion to see what it's gonna be like on a Sunday. Won't be perfectly set up, but we'll get a gist of what it's gonna be like, the kinds of procedures we'll have in place when we come to worship on July 5th. So here's a worshiper that's coming to worship. It's Debbie Brooks, a member of our reopening team. And you can see that she's coming wearing a mask. It's the recommendation of the reopening team and the session that masks be worn in worship. And I'm gonna say a little bit more about that because we know that the mask wearing isn't something that's gonna work for everyone. But Debbie is coming in wearing her mask. And at this table here, there'll be bottles of water and on the posts, we'll have some hand sanitizing stations. We'll ask everyone to sanitize their hands as they come in. On July 5th, on July 5th, we're going to share in the Lord's Supper for the first time in what, four months. And I can't believe that. That's probably the longest stretch of time I've ever gone personally without sharing the Lord's Supper, and maybe some of you too. So I'm really looking forward to that with the church. We're gonna to need to do it differently in order to practice good safety guidelines. So what we're gonna do is use some of these little pre-packaged cups that have a wafer on top. There's a layer that you peel off to get access to the wafer and you take the wafer. There's also another layer that you peel off to, after that that will open up the cup to drink the juice. So these cups will be ready for pickup on the way in. Uh, so you will only touch your own cup. No one else will, will touch your cup before you. And then those who set them out will do it with gloved hands. And then we're gonna try to keep good health guidelines with all of that. So once you get inside the pavilion, we're going to ask everyone inside the pavilion to wear a mask. So I'm going to put mine on. I'm gonna say a little bit more about the non-mask section, but for, for those who are seated underneath the pavilion, we ask masks to be worn. And you can see that the chairs are spaced in a way that, uh, that make, make, a quite, make quite a bit of distance between the, the, the forward, um, you know, the forward distance between where you are sitting and where the next set of chairs right in front of you is going to be. And the reason for that is that we know that COVID-19 is spread more readily by droplets. So the, the distance that we can keep from each other when we're speaking, uh, we're not going to sing to start, but we're going to speak together in worship. That will maximize the, the safety of, of our spacing. So the chairs here are grouped in twos, some in threes. They'll be grouped according to how people come in and, uh, and they'll set up a chair in the pavilion. You can tell that, that we, we really can't max this space out like we used to, but there's gonna be plenty of space for people to sit because in addition to sitting in the pavilion, we're also going to have family units that can see, sit out on the picnic table under the open sky. So, so this is our open sky section, and in the open sky section, a family unit that might sit, uh, might be in the same household, or maybe it's say a, a, a grand a grandmother and, and grandchildren and, and children. Um, family units can sit on the picnic tables and be closer together. And we're also saying that in the open sky area, it's just fine for you to come and, and not wear a mask. Droplets will, um, will, will fly off <laughs> into the distance a lot more readily under the open sky. Uh, so for those who really feel uncomfortable for whatever wearing the mask, whatever reason wearing a mask or, or, or just maybe physically can't wear a mask for different reasons, it's perfectly fine to come to worship 
and please do come and sit in the open sky area. There will also be plenty of space out here for you to bring your own chair and, uh, and, and to have your own seating in the open sky area. So as we come into the worship space, there's lots of room in this area because this is where the worship leadership will happen. I will stand right about here and the praise team will be off in that corner. One of the changes that we're making in in line with the change a lot of churches are making and some of the, the recommendations that are coming from the scientific community is that we not engage in congregational singing. And for me, that, that's going to be hard and in a way kind of heartbreaking because I really love to sing. But I love my neighbor more than I love singing. And so that's why we're going to refrain from singing all together, at least for a stretch of time. But we are going to have music, we are going to have singing, and the singing is going to happen by the praise team. Uh, there's, there's Evan, Evan is playing his air drums. Uh, he is playing uh, Karina's keyboard there. And uh, why don't you sing like Karina now? Can you do that? No, not going to do that. But, but we are going to have uh, our, our regular music leaders singing as solo voices. And that's the way things are going to work for a little while. So we will speak in worship, uh, but we are going to refrain from singing in order to minimize the risk of, of droplets being projected. So we know that habits are hard to break. And so things are going to feel pretty different in some ways when we come together in worship. We're going to need to be extra vigilant about keeping our distance, not only when we're coming in and going out and, and, uh, and sit, seated together, but also when we're talking with each other afterward. We know that there are different opinions on how things should happen. Now, we know that there are different opinions on things like masks. But what we're asking is that for a time, we really check our own preferences and do something that the session and the reopening team really believes will safeguard all of our health and the health of our neighbors. And we also know that even the best laid plans are not going to go perfectly. Uh, we're we're going to find maybe some flaws in how this works and we'll make some changes as that goes. We. We, we might get into it and, and find that, uh, that we're engaging in some of the behaviors we're, we're trying to avoid and, and, and might need to, to take a step back from our, our neighbor when we find that because we love them so much, we're starting to get too close, but that's the sort of thing that we're going to have to be extra cautious about. But it is good, I think, that we are starting to reopen our life as the church. The session has decided that phase one of our regathering plan is going to be around worship. And it's really up to you to decide if you feel safe coming to do this. Uh, that, that for all people we're asking that you only come to worship if you feel well. If you are feeling sick, we ask for your good and for the good of our neighbors. We're asking you to stay home until you feel well, until you come to worship. We want you to come to worship feeling comfortable about what the procedures are going to be. So if you have any questions about something, please go ahead and, and ask me. And, and I will try to explain that the best I can or find out the answer for you if I don't know. We want you to come to worship because you are ready to be part of the way we are doing things right now. So that if you want to sit in the pavilion, that yes, you are willing to wear a mask that yes, you are willing to share in the distancing that, that we're going to observe. That, that, that yes, as hard as it may be, you are going to refrain from singing uh, unless you are one of the worship leaders. So this is an opportunity for us to grow in love, which means living a life that is beyond the one that we would just prefer for ourselves. This is a profound time and it's my hope that we come out a more loving community as a result of this because we're going to keep living into our vision in worship and otherwise loving god sharing relationships serving others from the heart of christ so i look forward to seeing a lot of you in person in worship on july 5th and like i said we'll continue to stream online even after that happens living as god's church worshiping together god be with you all